Okay, today I'm gonna change this uh, fuel line. I'm still gonna keep the cheap glass filter. So instead of the fitting coming straight out, it's gonna point down and then come under this way. I might even bend a new steel line, come up here with it, get the filter about right here and then and then put this banjo fitting on. So it goes straight down rather than straight out. Yeah, here's a better setup. I might have more room for a bigger air cleaner too. I point the gas line down instead of coming straight out. I got this banjo fitting also, which would have went like that. But this one, you got to have the Edelbrock filter to screw in there. And you got to have the other line to go on the other end of the Edelbrock. And, that, and now all that's like another $50. I don't want to spend all that much money on just a gas line. So for now, I'm going to do that. Run the glass filter with some rubber lines and I got another, another hose I might bend another steel line I might bend to come up here's the old one ends right there I might bend one to come up and go right here plug into the filter and then go straight up there I could have I could have used this and just cut this off but I kind of don't want to cut that in case I ever do want to get the uh, proper filter to go in there Here's the old gas line. I'm going to attempt to bend this one similar to this one, but bring it over the manifold a little more. The old pipe bender. It's drinking coffee today. Okay, here's the old line. I got a new one on. That took me about an hour. <laughs> it ain't perfect, but I wanted it. So this one stopped right there. I wanted to wrap one around and kind of do it that way, just so I could put a small rubber hose on it and come up like that. So, so far so good. I think that needs to be super tight. I would have preferred the other banjo, but the one that wraps underneath, but like I said, I don't want to cut it in case I want to get the filter. Those don't need to be tightened too too much either. I mean, you could still turn it a lot, but don't over tighten that if you if you're thinking about putting one of those on if you have an Edelbrock. Okay, well that's kind of how I envisioned it. Not perfect, but I mean it should work. I'll tighten up all the fittings and start it up. See if we have any leaks. Uh, I took it all back up. It's my wire. Oh, 
I'm satisfied with this. Some guys might want to leave the uh, the 5 8 nut on and screw it in, and I would have preferred to do that, but it's a different size. So, but like I said, I don't want to spend another hundred dollars on just a fuel line to get all the Edelbrock shit. This will work. As long as I ain't got no leaks. Okay, I think everything's back here. Let's let's try to start it. Make sure we ain't got no leaks. Another thing I want to do before it gets hot, I want to change this accelerator pump position to the middle. Alright, we're going with fucking a real small part here. I'm going to lose this little pin here. Super small. I don't have another one. Oh shit! So I knew that was going to happen. There it is. Let me show you the size of this part I'm working with. That little clip is what holds that accelerator pump on. I'll leave it there so I know where it is. I just want to move this. Position two. Now, that's the way it goes. All right, back on middle position. That battery's dead. My battery, and this is probably like 18 years old. But it doesn't hold a charge very for very long. But so I'll hook up the old Harbor Freight to it. And see if I can jump it. Go for a little ride and test it out. Well, that's gonna stay up there, huh? Right?
Okay, another job complete. Well, almost complete. I still want to get the clamp. I don't really have anything right now. <clears throat> but it's better than it was. Might have to do some work on this one, too. I don't like the way this gas line is, but everything works on that one. But eventually I'll get to that. I got a little bit of a gas leak coming off of the uh, accelerator pump on this holly. So I got to take the holly off and tighten these screws. Maybe even put a new gasket under there on the accelerator pump cover. That'll be for a free future project. <clears throat>